Hey everybody, 3-Gun Guy here. <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, show you my new uh, purchase. Uh, even though my name is 3-Gun Guy, I've decided to get into the long-range shooting competition world. And again, just for sport, right? I'm not going to win a national championship or anything like that. But I did some research on rifles, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably get into that uh, a little later, but I settled on, well, I shouldn't say I settled on, I chose the Bergara B14 BMP rifle. So let's do a little uh, unboxing here. I won't spend too much time because there's really not much, that much to unbox. And then we'll zoom in and kind of show you what this rifle really looks like. So unboxing, just make sure we have everything in there. So we get a, you know, Bergara manual. It's a nice manual, very well printed registration on the back uh, we also get a shim so what they're saying here is uh, if you want to, to uh, uh, lower the scope so you raise the barrel of the rifle you can use the shim now I bought a 20 MOA uh, rail a scope rail so I don't need that then we also get a five round magazine so that's nice to, uh, to have. And then we also get the bolt. So here is the bolt for the gun. Let's go ahead and take that out. Here we are. Nice bolt. And then finally the gun itself. Now, rifle I should say. Maybe take that out of here. <clears throat> this is a beautiful beautiful rifle. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount it on my uh, my gun mount and uh, so we can take a little closer look at it. We'll put the bolt in um, and do a couple other things. All right, so let me do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, here's the gun. Um, I wanted to just give you a real quick kind of zoomed in view of this thing. It is put together like a tank. Um, I bought it, one of the reasons I bought it was for the buttstock. Uh, I didn't want to get a rifle and then have to spend $250 on a Magpul buttstock uh, right out of the gate. So that was one reason. The other reason was uh, I have done some research on the actions and again for a production rifle in the price range I wanted to stay at, which was under uh, $1,300. This rifle fit the bill. Okay, look at the bolt. Now it is unloaded. Bolt slides extremely easy. If you can, if you can hear that, listen to some other reviews of rifles, and when you listen to them do this with the bolt, it will. You will hear the grit. Now I haven't cleaned this gun. I haven't done anything to it. This is fresh out of the box. So let's listen. Little bit of play, little bit, very little. There you go. And I'm still getting used to it. This is my first, well, it's my second bolt gun, but I haven't shot a bolt gun in a long time. Anyway, love it. Trigger, same thing, right? So let's list, let let's review the trigger. Well, I tell you what, let me come back to that. Let's just keep looking at at the gun. It's got the Bergara logo here. Beautiful. This whole section here is a single section. So it, it may look like, like right here, you may see that there's a, there's some type of a uh, bolt or something. That's not, that's not true. That's there to help stabilize the barrel. Uh, it is a free float barrel from what I understand, but still this uh, has to do has something to do with uh, maintaining the stability of the action within here. Um, the barrel itself tapered. It is not a stainless steel barrel. So let's talk about one thing that you want to consider if you're looking at this rifle. Uh, this barrel will need to be replaced by Bergara. So when you're looking at some of these other rifles, uh, like the RPR you are able to change out your own barrel. 
okay? I'm a three gun guy, I'm a 5.56 five, guy. I'm okay with changing out the barrel on my 5.56. Five, five, Just for me personally, I'm not a gunsmith, I'm not gonna be okay changing out the barrel on this rifle. Um, that's just me. That is just me. So I don't mind sending it into him. My plan here is to break in my skills with this barrel, which, which is a, a chromoloy barrel. And then when I'm done putting about 2,000 to 2,500 rounds through it, I'm going to send it off to them and get a stainless barrel put in there, one of their stainless barrels. Uh, I've already checked with them. That is perfectly fine to do, so they can do that. All right? So good, let's come back. Uh, let's look at the trigger um, and then, then we'll look at the safety. But again, gun is unloaded. There is nothing in the chamber. There is no magazine at all. So let's go ahead and close the bolt. And now the trigger in this gun is very, very nice. Now I'm doing this left-handed. So let's listen to the trigger. Hold on, let me see if I can get it zoomed in there. Ready? That's it. That's it. Take up after trigger pull about a 30 second of an inch. There is no take up on the trigger at all. This trigger factory, a buddy of mine came over last night with a, a trigger scale. This thing was out of the factory at about two and a half pounds. I'm not going to touch it yet. You can adjust this down, but I believe you can maybe adjust it down to two pounds, but that's about it. This is a, a uh, Bergara trigger. So if you get the LRP, you'll get the uh, Trigger Tech trigger. But I'm telling you what, guys, this, this trigger right here, break. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful trigger to me. Um, again, what I want you to realize is I am not in this to win a national championship. I'm not going to spend $8,000 to $10,000 on a rifle, uh, so this is what I wanted to get into. Uh, the safety here, safety is kind of interesting because I can set the safety now, and then when I put the bolt forward, right, I'm not able to pull the trigger, so that makes sense. But what's interesting is, when I then I, I put the safety on fire, pull the trigger, let's listen. Beautiful. And you do have that indicator. I don't know if you saw that, but that's a really nice, uh, very visible indicator for the gun. Now, when I have it locked down, right, I, I can't bring this back to safe. So, which again, to me, is very interesting. I'm, I'm just not used to that, right? I'm, I'm used to being able to bring a rifle back to safe, but I guess that's just a bolt gun thing. And uh, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. But you know what? I have to get used to the gun, so that's what I'll do. But just wanted to give you an initial uh, look at the rifle. See how she looks from this angle. It is a beautiful, beautiful gun. This is the Bergara B14 BMP. Sorry, there was one more thing I meant to, to talk about, and that was the, uh, the buttstock. And remember I said I wanted to get an easy-to-use buttstock and something that I did not have to replace when I got the gun. I wasn't going to spend $1,200, $1,300 on a gun, only to find that I had to spend another two or $300 on the buttstock. Now, this buttstock here is really easy to uh, manage. I can... Pull these out, extend it, back in, extend it. The other neat thing about this is it's got these, these ribs right here. I don't know if you can see that right here. Let's get this out of the way and then bring it back in. If you see these ribs right here, come on camera, right there. And you can put a C-clamp on those. So once you find your cheek weld, uh, you just put the C-clamp where you need it, and then you put it back onto the gun, and you're good to go, okay? 
Uh, some guns you need to take the the uh, cheek plate off before you can pull out the the bolt. On this one, I have found that I don't need to do that. Um, sorry, still trying to get used to it, guys. Gotta get, get my hand here. This is a heavy gun, by the way. But as you can see, I was able to pull the bolt right out of there. Okay. And then finally on the back here, we do have some adjustment on the butt plate itself. So I can move that up. I can move it down. Uh, and it's got, uh, I know you've seen this on other videos, but it's got some like rough, it's not sandpaper, but it's kind of like the, the, the gritty paper uh, back there that will grab it. So there you go. Uh, easy to adjust. I, I like the fact that that these knobs just stay here. They don't come off necessarily. And I also like the fact that there's no bolts on the other side that I'm going to lose. Uh, everything's right here. QD attachments. It's got one here. So a, a double basically on the back side here. And then it does have another QD attachment up here on the rail. The rail here is very interesting because when you first get it, you're going to go, what, what do I use here? What, what is this? This is an M-lock rail. Uh, and I at first thought it would not take M-lock because this is really thick underneath here. But I, I did figure out that yes, it does take an M-lock uh, rail. And what I'm going to do here is I bought an Atlas bipod. Uh, so I'm going to mount that on there. Uh, I have a, as I said before, 20 MOA rail that I'm going to mount on this. And I think what I'll do here in a minute is kind of just show you everything that I got to get this gun set up for at least some initial uh, matches. Okay, so let's actually do that. I'll put the gun back at the stand, then I'll start to lay out some of the stuff that I got. All right. I'm